Well, I've decided to get back out and try my hand again at magnet fishing. I enjoy uh, metal detecting a whole lot, but uh, I think I've done better magnet fishing with finding unique things. And uh, now that it's winter, um, not as many bugs doing it when I go up and down the creeks. The small creek I'm going to get in is over on the right, but this is an old bridge. I've tried off of here before, but uh, haven't found much. Just got to kind of be careful because you can fall off. It's a pretty good ways down. We've been in here before, me and a buddy of mine, and right down there in the bottom, he hooked onto something pretty big that we couldn't get out of the bottom of the uh, water. As a matter of fact, you can kind of see the pole sticking up where it was. And yeah, maybe not. But anyway, I'm gonna try this out a little bit, but I'm not gonna do this with my phone in my hand because I will drop it. So, anyway, Come back on and let you know if I find anything. I kind of started this off backwards. I tried to throw it out and bring it back to me, but I just realized as swift as the water is, I don't want this thing to, I don't want my camera to flip sideways, which you can see down there, maybe, when I get out there a little further. I just hooked onto something. Crap. I'm gonna drop my phone in the water. Anyway, I don't know if you can see where it's hooked onto something, so I gotta, I gotta take, oh, it's a pipe or something going across the bottom. Wind's blowing it. Uh, hold on a minute, let me get it out of there. Look at that. That's like a stinking guardrail or something. It ain't coming off, goodness. I gotta try to shake it off or uh, do something. It's pretty heavy. That thing's uh, probably four foot long. I'll get it up here and let you look at it. I need to put my gloves on. Well, I got it out. Took a piece of angle iron. Pretty doggone heavy. It's got another rope wrapped around it, so someone may have been using it. As an anchor, I can't get my magnet off of it. Oh gosh, I got it. All right, look for something else. I hooked on to something pretty cool down here. I wanna, I'd like to get the camera set up. Obviously those who are good at this camera work don't have to say, hey, let me get the camera set up, but I wanna try to find a place to prop the camera, but uh. I'm afeard that I'm going to drop this camera in the water, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pull it up and then let y'all see it when it gets here. There it is. It's kind of heavy. I'm going to drop it. Hold on just a second. Let me get it over the edge. What is that? That old jack or something? Looks like an old... I'm right up in all in the business. It is a jack in it. <laughs> Check it out. It's kind of heavy. Pulled it out. Got this little ring thing too and a little bolt. Um, pretty neat. I hooked onto something else pretty big, but I couldn't pick it up. The magnet I have is a Neodium magnet or whatever you call it. Some KJ magnets online, but uh, you can see how big it is compared to my hand. And that's not even the biggest ones they have. And this one picks up 260, 280 pounds or something like that. But uh, you got to go in there and clean all the iron stuff off the off of it. But uh, I'm going to keep on going. I want to drag a gun out of here. This bridge used to be used when I was growing up. This is the bridge I took to work every day. 
And then all the fancy pants people with all the money started moving out in the woods in our neighborhood. And they started building subdivisions and all the cattlemen and farmers started dying off. And now all the fancy pants people live way out there and they got new roads and stuff. But uh, anyway, this is still my camp. This is still my spot. So anyway, let me try again here. Well, right. what was something else? Got a rock attached to it. Let's get over here and see what it is. Just a big plate. Let's see if I can get this rock off of it. Yeah, the rock came off. Anyway, who knows, huh? Pretty neat though. Found it down in some rocks down there. So, man, my hands are nasty. Hey, all right, I'm gonna see if I can uh, find something else out here for y'all to see. I'm looking around the edges of the bridge to see if the, the jack I found has anything to do with the way this bridge is made. Any of the parts or pieces. So far it doesn't look like it. Well, I don't know if you can see that sign down there or not, but uh, let's see. There's a stick, I'm too far. There it is. I pulled that up a long time ago, wading this uh, creek. But it's uh, it's heavy. I mean, the magna will pull it out, but I hate to just leave it laying on the bridge. And it could be in its final resting place right there. Uh, a couple more throws here, then I'm headed to the small creek, spring fed. All right, for everyone who's watched my videos, my guess is that you know where I am. You've seen this creek in all my first videos. We found a couple of guns in this creek, a pile of horseshoes, and uh loads of other stuff but like I say we didn't keep it all I gotta figure out how to get to the other side now because it's not summer anymore it's winter time but it is almost 70 degrees out here I still don't count because the water is not 70 well water may be only 70 degrees oh my goodness and you got stickers see that sticker few deer tracks down the side sometimes you can just walk in this and uh, you can see stuff laying right there on the open but I'm not going this way I'm going this way all right let me get all up, up and around the corner and that's where we'll start yeah I'm back in Horseshoe Creek the typical finds of Horseshoe Creek until you find something else that's kind of neater so Pull this stuff off, keep rolling. Awesome, isn't it? 
All right. Yeah, I kind of blew it back there. I tried to do the fancy prop up the phone to watch me drag a magnet in the creek thing and the, and the phone cover. Look at all the stuff in here. There's springs, nails. There's a big old piece of pottery. Look at that. I'm not carrying that out of here. More springs, more nails. Here's a piece of an old coat hanger. There's the top of it right there. You can just walk around and pick stuff up in here. I'll drag a magnet in a second though and see. See what's really worth getting. There's an old door. Screen door hinge it looks like. Yeah it is. Both sides of it. More pottery and more of that piece of that green one. I got to get up there around the corner where the uh, where we found the guns last time. My wife found that gun attached to a horseshoe, which is the one on my little picture of uh, who I am on the tube. Anyway, we keep looking. Here's something. Looks like a little miniature thing off of uh, Bugs Bunny or no Roadrunner, where he from the Acme supply store where he'd blow up the uh, he'd blow up the coyote I don't know what this is I think I'll take it out clean it up and keep moving I just picked up this jar I just saw it sitting in the water look at that you know what that is you know what that little white thing is right there I think that is a ceramic lid it is to a canning jar genuine zinc cap for ball mason jars is what it says actually I like those I'm telling you every time it rains hard <clears throat> or there's a storm and this creek fills up to the top washes over the banks you can see it it washes tons of new stuff in here Here's a big old piece of potty right there that I'm not carrying out. I'm not carrying out that jar either. I think I'm the only one on earth that ever comes to this creek. So, everybody else just kind of does not come to this creek. I'm a, oh, here's where I found the gun. Let's walk on up here. Here's where we found a couple of guns. BB guns. We found, well, four. We found two BB guns and a... Uh, cap gun all from the 30s 40s and 50s there's a big old hunk of looking metal stuff it may be ceramic yeah it didn't pick it up i'll go back and look at it in a second i just want y'all look down in the hole with me first before i throw a magnet but this green stuff it's like walking on uh glass with ice on it so let's look and see if there's anything obvious I need to pick up. I'm not dropping my phone in here. Let's just bounce the magnet. And see what we get here. Got to be something new down there. Let's see, what's new? Iron rocks and nails, that's new. Uh, let me fish it a little bit and we'll see what we get. So far, a few more nails and that little lever off something. You can see where it kind of broke off on the end. There's the top. Looks like a little piece of a, might be a high low range shifter for a Massey Ferguson 210. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's about the size and shape of the one that's on my tractor. Or the low, middle, and high range from my old tractor. But uh, anyway, I might take it back. I'm going to take it back to the house and compare. We'll see. Guess what that is? It is a canning lid. Piece of the 
metal lid still on it. Pretty neat. We'll take it out. That's what they look like in the in the lid. That one hadn't been here long enough to completely rust away, but uh, I don't know. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Well, I know you're all gonna be disappointed because I'm gonna have to do a quick run right here and just look because I just got a call and one of the cows is out. So you know what that means? You know what, what you gotta do when the cows are out? You drop everything you're doing. Oh, look at those deer tracks. It'd be teeny weenies. You drop everything you're doing and you go get the cow before a car gets the cow. See, now I'm back to my point of there's too many cars out here now. And I got a pretty good walk. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I was walking and talking and uh, thinking y'all were listening to my phone was off in my hand. But what I was saying is this is how you fall down when you rush out of the woods. Or you get some of these uh there's old bottle. Check it out. I know I gotta go. It ain't that old. It's still got a little flavor, a little flay left in it. I gotta go into these briars. Alright, headed back to my wagon. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you're ever around my area, come on. Bye. A couple guys are where they're not supposed to be. You be the one of you little fellas. Gotta do a little work out here. I don't have a horse. I see the problem though. If I can get them to jump, these little calves, these jokers, they can jump right through the fence, but I'm gonna remedy this here for too long. And they're going to be electrocuted when they jump out. Jump through there, you little goofball. No, wrong way. Get on it! She's hollering at me. She's not very pleased with the way I'm handling these little calves. Ah, little fella. All right, we're gonna have to go to phase two. Be right back. All right, now we're gonna go for the homie don't play that machine. This, they cannot resist the sound or the smell of the homie don't play that machine. Oh, better crank it again. like a cheeseburger for the kids from McDonald's. They can't resist. I just got to pick out the one I want. Somebody's happy. Maybe it's me. All right. Let's go give them a little taste. Going a little sideways in the mud here.
little taste of that. You tell all your friends, hey, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm over here. You tell all your friends. Somebody's got an attitude problem. Come on, let's go. Look, I went and got y'all the biggest cheeseburger I could find. Go over there and eat it. All right, I wish I'd go back to the creek, but I can't do that. Because my bride's gonna be home in a little while. That little calf's still out in the field over there. They're coming around slowly. They walk right through the fence. See them over there? They look for a spot. Uh, Mama's calling them. There I am. Doing what I do. Ah, uh, now they're coming. They want me gone. Look out, girl. 